Hi, I'm Barack Obama. And I'm Michelle. Welcome to Live from the Library. Today we thought we'd read you a story. I remember my first trip to the library and how important I felt. Uh, it was around age four. Uh, my library card was a key that unlocked a world of knowledge and experiences. Public libraries are essential institutions and that's why we're bringing a new branch of the Chicago Public Library to the Obama Presidential Center on the south side. When it opens, it'll give families one more chance to explore their interests, learn, and engage with their communities. And we're excited for you to visit one day. We are excited also to share today's book, The Word Collector, written and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. We chose this book because it illustrates the transformative power of words. I love words. Yeah, your favorite. So let's get started. Okay. The word collector. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Willow, tea shop. Certain words jumped out at him. He collected words he read, emerald. Certain words popped off the page. Short and sweet words, spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two syllable treats, treasure, motive, whisper, glimmer, hover, candid. And multi-syllable words that sounded like songs. Guacamole, kaleidoscope, wonderful, geometry, symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic. Mm. Vociferous. Effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Molasses, <laughs> torrential, smudge, bellow, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day, while transporting them... Jerome slipped and his words went flying. Oh my goodness. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together, words he'd not imagined being side by side. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking feeling, and dreaming. And one breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon 
packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below scurrying about, collecting words from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. <laughs> the end. That was beautiful. I love that book. He's the word guy. I, and I like words. He looks kind of like Jerome, too. They Ex have the same ears. I, mine are a little bigger than Jerome's. A lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being with us. Hope you enjoyed today's book. See you soon. Bye-bye.